Mark, it was a pretty up and down game. It seemed like at halftime you were playing great and had the game well in hand. Then it kind of flowed the other direction. How proud are you that your guys hung tough enough to make enough plays to go ahead and win the game? Well, very proud of our football team. Um, you know, I think there was a few critical plays in there where we had a chance um, to, you know, take it to another level. I wouldn't say put it away, but make us feel a lot better about it. I think the um, the penalty at the end of the first half, we, we settled for a field goal when we actually threw a nice fade for a touchdown and, um, you know, got uh, our tight end lined up off the ball. But uh, that's on us. We, we actually should have went right back to um, the call that I had to play before with the same formation. So, um, you know, but really proud, proud of our team, proud of our coaches. You know, we're, people don't realize it, but it's a, it's a pretty big deal when you're down three of your full-time offensive coaches. And uh, really proud of Vince Morrow, uh, Coach Bo Knight, um, you know, Mark Perry, Josh Estesbois, Cody Lasita, uh, Maxwell Smith. Guys really stepped up, did a really good job for some young coaches uh, to go win a bowl game, uh, to, you know, to win uh, the Gator Bowl with, um, you know, two of your full-time coaches and a bunch of analysts and graduates assistants and guys that stepped up and really did a good job. So proud of them, proud of our seniors. Um, led us to three straight bowl victories. That's, uh, you know, really a big accomplishment. And I greatly appreciate all of our players, all of them, once again, really wanted to be here, um, you know, played a played a good game. Uh, you know, I'm disappointed with some of the things that, that, that went on during the game. We got to get cleaned up, you know, some of that. I, I got to look at it. It was hard to tell. Um, but, you know, the, the, you know, some of that unsportsmanlike uh, conduct penalties, you know, I just, I got to get cleaned up and I will. That, that's not us. We're not going to accept that. I'm not going to get into touchy or not or whatever. I, I really couldn't tell, but uh, these were clearly not uh, officials we're used to. And, but that also it, it's on me and it's on us and we'll, we'll get that addressed. Uh, you don't know what type of, you know, when you get in these bowl games, you're not used to uh, certain officials and um, you know, I got to do a better job preparing us for that. All right. Thanks, Larry. Let's move over to John Hale and then Michael Bennett. Mark, it was obviously such an emotional season for a wide variety of reasons. Just how important was it for your guys and, and just the moving forward to close it with a happy moment, a celebration you know, after everything you've been through? I think it's very important. Um, you know, again, you know, it's been well documented, the, the investment, and, and it's also been you know, well document the toll that it's taken on all players across the country. And to once again, see our players step up and want to do that and travel back and forth uh, during their break after, you know, really mentally being exhausted and still laying it on the line all the way through to the fourth quarter says an awful lot. You know, we talked about it in chapel last night about finishing, uh, you know, with Aaron Hogue that always does a remarkable job. I talked about it this morning. I addressed it. One of the last things uh, I said when we left the field was uh, recognizing, um, you know, Chris Oates and, and John Schlarman and, and, you know, having them, their memories in our mind today and, and uh, wishing they were with us. So very emotional year, but uh, great to cap it off with a big victory. All right, let's go over to Michael Bennett. Uh, Mark, congratulations on a great win over a uh, ranked opponent. I'm sure that's the way you wanted to finish the season out this year, especially the difficulties you've had off the field. But coming up to this game, you had mentioned a few times you wanted to get all, hopefully all three quarterbacks in. It seemed like Terry was really struggling on the pass. What kept you from putting in Joey Gatewood or Bo Allen? Yeah, I, I you know, I really, I wanted to, and I probably should have, to be, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I have great confidence in Terry and, and he did pull out the victory, but, uh, um, you know, it was also important to get the, get the win. I've seen Terry rally us back, you know, many times before, but, uh, you know, it, it, you know, I wish I'd have got him in, Mike, to be honest with you, but uh, I didn't. Um, fortunately, we came out with the victory. All right. Thanks, Mike. Let's go over to Josh Moore and then Chris Leach. Hey, Mark, when you get to see what A.J. did today, I know Chris is, has kind of garnered a lot of attention this year, and rightfully so, and he, he had both scores. But for A.J. to take off and really go out, I assume this is his last year, unless he you know, comes back again, but, but to go out on a note like that for him. It, it was really big, and I was really happy for him and really proud of A.J. Uh, just like a lot of our players, if you're around here for four years or five years, you're going to go through some ups and some downs. 
And, um, you know, he certainly has, but uh, he's been there. He's been consistent. Uh, he has a wonderful family. He was the MVP of the game tonight in, in there this afternoon and, and just really happy for him, really proud of him. He's been here for a long time and he's helped us win a lot of games. And again, you're going to uh, you know, get criticism. You're going to get, you know, people coming at you and talking about other people, but he just always kind of stuck to himself and, you know, worried about his, his game and himself and uh, happy that he went out that way. Thanks. Let's go over to Chris Leach and then Clayton Freeman. Hey, Mark, you talked about Vince and the offensive play calling a little bit. Um, who are some of those uh, graduate assistants or other assistants who probably get a lot of the credit for coming up with a game plan today on offense? Yeah, yeah the guys that were promoted to full time are, um, again, Mark Perry, uh, uh, Josh Estiswa, Cody Lasita were all promoted and were in full time roles for this game. And Maxwell Smith has been a graduate assistant for us. And, uh, you know, all those guys really contributed and really worked hard. Uh, leading up to the game and um, you know it was a group effort and uh, you know again Vince and Coach Bo did a great job and uh, just proud of, of, of the whole group it's it's not easy you're down three full-time coaches and uh, you know your two primary play callers so a uh, very different situation and uh, I'm glad that we put it together. Thanks Chris let's go over to Clayton Freeman and then Tim Sullivan. Yes, this is Clay with the Times in here in Jacksonville. You've, you've seen Jamin and what he's been able to do with this defense all year. Um, you know, what would you say about you know, after, after missing out on all SEC earlier this month? Do you feel this was sort of a statement game for him to sort of show the world what he can do in a you know, bigger stage of this bowl game January 2nd? Uh, I think every opportunity, every time Jamin steps on the field, he's getting better. Um, you know, he, he – you know, he and I had a good talk last night, and you know, I, I appreciate the way he went out and played today. And uh, so, uh, you know, he's getting better with every rep, with every opportunity, and uh, it doesn't surprise me. But uh, I will say, even you know, from the sidelines, far, uh, you know, to the to the far sideline, I noticed him showing up several plays, and uh, certainly looked like he played a very good game. I'll have to go look at the tape. All right, thank you. Let's go over to Tim Sullivan. Hi, Coach. Uh, I think you finished today with 99 yards passing, uh, and I know you, you want to evolve in that direction toward more balance. I wonder if you could maybe uh, see, uh, speak to uh, how you see that developing uh, over the next year or two and, uh, and how quickly you can get to where you want to be. Yeah, well, uh, we're going to, you know, this is, uh, we're going to say goodbye to 2020 today, you know, so uh, it's on to the future. So, um, you know, really, Greatly appreciate the win, and uh, but also uh, very excited about the future of Kentucky football. So we'll address that uh, when I get back in January. I need I need a few days off. All right, thanks, Tim. Let's go over to JD Drummond. Hey, uh, Mark. Uh, Max Duffy seemed to have his magic back at full strength today. Did you get a good look at at the one where he alluded? To, the rush and, and got that kickoff. And can you talk about just his contribution? Yeah, you know, especially in the second half. Yeah, that's a great point. You know, field position was such a big deal in this game. Um, you know, and what he did on that uh, on the on the punt was, uh, you know, when I was watching it live, I'll have to look at it. But, uh, you know, really uh, big time play and uh, just goes to show you how savvy he is and how talented he is. Uh, definitely. Uh, you know, we're, we're grateful for his background with uh, Aussie football right there on that play because, uh, you know, to have the confidence in that to elude the rush and, and then punt it the way he did, um, he's just a talented guy, he really is. He's got more tricks up his sleeve, too. I wish we would have had him for, for more years. But uh, like I said before, we're, we're grateful bringing another Aussie. All right, thanks, J.D. All right, we've only got time for two more, so I'm going to try to get to Derek, Terry, and then Lonnie. Hey, Mark. Uh, Vita played a whole lot today instead of Carrington Valentine. How do you think those young guys uh, performed in the secondary? Yeah, well, Vito, um, you know, was really looking good towards the, the end of the season in bull prep. And then he got a little injury, a uh, ham, hamstring injury that, um, you know, I was really pleased that he was able to play. He missed uh, the last three practices, I believe, um, with that hamstring. And, but uh, he, he's out there. He's 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 a fun guy. I like uh, like the way he plays. He brings some energy and some juice, and uh, you know he he did a good job. And then Carrington, you know we have uh, high high uh, hopes for him, and we really do. I think he's going to be a really good player. 
I thought he did a good job today. He was a little passive at times and keeping things in front of him, but that's okay. Um, you know, we'll get, you know, we could work with that and get him, get him tightened up. You know, he's also good at press and, and uh, so just overall, just, uh, you know, really, we're really pleased with him. All right, last question goes to Lonnie and then we'll move on to AJ. Mark, you already talked about Carrington Valentine, but uh, I also wanted to know if you, if you could expand, expound a little more on what his biggest assets are and what he's going to bring to your program in the future. Uh, Carrington, he's got some length, and uh, he, you know the biggest thing he's going to bring is he's a competitor. You know that's what I like about him. He's not afraid to get up and and play tighter. Again, you know some of the calls that he was off, but uh, um, you know later, you know when he rolled up and he pressed, uh, he's a competitive guy, and uh, so uh, I think he's a you know just a talented young guy that that's willing to work.